Oh God, oh God, here he comes. Uh, I'm not gonna be scared, I gotta be focused. I got my stapler and uh, I'm gonna staple him. Come on, you make the move. <sighs> got him right in the tail, he's dead. Hi, it's me, D-Lay. That was a close one. I'm sorry I'm not wearing a shirt. We didn't have shirts back in 10,001 BC. To be honest, we don't even know what a shirt is. Okay. Um, that being said, um, I do get to show off my pecs to some of the primitive girls and uh, primitive woolly mammoths, and they kind of like it. So it kind of works out in the long run for everybody. I just killed a Bengal tiger on screen, and uh, that's only the beginning. This is act one. Things are going to get a little bit crazier, a little more hectic, and the ride's going to be a little bumpier. And now, zing, zoom, act two. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. A herd of woolly mammoths. This is unheard of. This shouldn't be happening right now. We have a specific rule that all woolly mammoths are to stay within 5,000 yards of this perimeter. They have the green pastures over the mountaintops. They're not allowed to come in here. We have a rule. I made it with Queen Woolly Mammoth, and, and we're supposed to stick to that rule, and I'm not going to have it be broken. This is wrong. They're coming into me. This is my village here. I can't let this happen. Okay. Stay calm. They're stampeding in. Oh, God. They're stampeding in. I can't believe this. This is wrong. This shouldn't be happening. Okay. I gotta talk to some of my villagers. Hold on a second. What do you think we should do? You should fight, D-Lay! You should fight! No! Kill the woolly mammoths, D-Lay! I will not! Fight! I refuse! It is against my beliefs in life. But they have your wife! Will you let them kill her? Give me my staple. Should we talk to the Queen Woolly Mammoth? Do you think she wants a war? Let me call her on my archaic primitive horn. Queen Woolly Mammoth? Hi, how you doing? Oh, you saw me kill, you saw me kill that Bengal tiger, huh? Did you notice that I used the stapler my father passed down to me? Oh, it's actually a long, sorrowful story. I don't want to get into it. Okay, he was on his deathbed, and uh, he um, gave me the stapler. He's like, this is what my grandpa gave me, and his grandpa passed down to him, and now I'm giving you the stapler. And I was like, okay. And I didn't realize I was going to need it, but apparently I just did for the first time. I don't apologize, no. How long has he been dead? No, he didn't die. He ended up recovering. Yeah, he's in the other room right now. You want to talk to him? Oh, no. Yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, he actually wants the stapler back now that he's alive, and I, I'm not going to give it back to him because after that Bengal tiger, and I'm sure there's going to be a few more after that, I don't I want to be prepared. Yeah, so he's going to be screwed on that. Yeah. Anyway, that's not why I called you. I called you because your dominion of woolly mammoths are flocking into my village at an unreasonable speed, and they've broken the curfew line of 5,000 parameter miles into the uh, green pastures. Yeah, they're supposed to be in the green pastures. Yeah. Screw me. 
F me? Oh, you won a war. Okay. Um, you saw what I did to the Bengal Tiger. I don't think the Woolies are going to be much harder. Oh, they've been training. Okay. Right, well, uh, I'm going to go now and uh, fight them. This is the resolution then, that I have to kill the woolly mammoths and then it's over? Okay. Act three. Here they come, the woolies. They're coming. Zap, zap. Oh, ah, they're all dead. That's it. It's the end of the movie. I'm going to go, uh, have sex with my uh, female admirers that have been watching me kill the woolly mammoths. It always turns them on when I kill a lot of woolly mammoths like they just did. So they're naturally going to be hounding me for sex. And I'm already shirtless, so we're halfway there. Yeah, I like living in this time. i got to be honest with you. <laughs>